Well, hello there, Mr. Popular Atheist. Um, like your thing about the, the the eight reasons why smart people might believe in God. Um, although I, I have to say that I am, uh, I, I tend to be, uh, I guess you could call it something of a reductionist. Uh, I, I tend to take lists of things and try and eliminate the redundancy and, and simplify things down. Your list consists of uh, compartmentalize, uh, Pascal's wager, don't want to rock the boat, improve social standing, trust leads people to faith, fear of X, looking glass self, and groupthink. Okay, so you have eight items on your list. Um, to me, compartmentalization is intellectual dishonesty. You're lying to yourself. Pascal's wager is pure unadulterated cowardice. Because basically, Pascal's wager says, what have you got to lose? Right? Um, if there is a God and you don't believe in God, you're going to hell. If there is a God and you do believe in God, you're going to heaven. If there isn't a God and you don't believe in God, nothing happens. If there isn't a God and you don't believe in him, well, nothing happens. Um, but if there's a chance that there's a God, then you're better off believing that there is. Not having the strength of one's convictions is cowardice. Don't want to rock the boat. Well, it's cowardice with the peppering of joiner mentality. Improve social standing, also cowardice with the peppering of joiner mentality. Trust leads people to faith. Intellectual dishonesty with a joiner mentality. Fear of X, obviously cowardice, such as fear of burning in hell, <laughs> in, in the context of Pascal's wager. The looking glass self, I thought, was an interesting concept. And I don't necessarily know that the looking glass self, in and of itself, is a reason why people believe in God. Um, I would say that that's more like improving social standing and trust leading people to faith. Um, the looking glass self by itself, i.e. Uh, self-evaluation based on how I think other people perceive me, isn't necessarily a bad thing. And it doesn't necessarily lead people to believe in God. I don't think. Um, the looking glass self, if I'm understanding your description correctly, the looking glass self is, is more a stage of developmental progress toward in enlightenment. Um, because, you know, at first you have me. It's all about me. You, you suffer from KOTU syndrome, center of the universe. Everything, everything revolves around me. It's all about eyes back on me. Me. Why aren't you looking at me? But the looking glass self acknowledges that there is an outside world, that there are other people with other perceptions and other uh, comprehensions and other ideas. Uh, to me, that's kind of the positive. I mean, whether or not the perception or the, um, the ideation of other people's perceptions uh, is accurate, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, it varies from individual to individual. But uh, I think the looking glass self, as you describe it, is actually a positive thing. And I don't necessarily think that it's a, it's a cornerstone of, of buckling under the pressure to believe. Uh, groupthink, obviously, yes. I think that's joiner mentality, uh, pure and simple. So basically, your list boils down to three basic ideas. Cowardice, intellectual dishonesty, and a joiner mentality. And those, yes, those are three things that very much uh, contribute to the perpetuation and the spread of religious belief. Having said that, uh, this might be a perfect opportunity for me to tell you about the Church of No Thanks. <laughs> yes, there is such a thing. <laughs> Yes, the Church of No Thanks, uh, which can uh, you can learn about at uh, www.nothankschurch.com, um, is all about celebrating personal liberty and uh, shunning peer pressure, which uh, peer pressure is one of the things that compels, uh, external force that compels people to um, religion and other bad things, um, religious faith, I should say. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, yeah, check us out at uh, www.nothankschurch.com 
And also, uh, while I'm here, uh, I thought I'd plug some of my um, Ursus Pacificus atheistic merchandise. Uh, this is my reality check t-shirt. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, done like a multiple choice uh, test. And it says, uh, question one, one of these things is not like the others. Uh, a, the tooth fairy. Uh, B, Easter bunny. Uh, C, Santa Claus. Uh, D, God. E, gravity. And then down here, upside down, there's a handy answer key uh, where it says um, uh, answer E. And of course, there's the URL from my website, versuspecificus.net. So, uh, you can get these at, um, and, and other fine Ursus Pacificus, uh, Church of No Thanks, and Dummy Head merchandise uh, at uh, www.cafepress.com slash urspax, U-R-S-P-A-X. So, uh, anyway, thanks for all your wonderful work, and keep it up, and uh, I'll be checking back in from time to time. Bye!